Today we're in Gladewater, otherwise known as the antique capital of Texas. Yeah, Kelly, but we're not here to shop. We're here to see some fans. And these are the fans we came to see. Residential air conditioning came out in the market 51, 52. Prior to that, if you wanted to keep cool, you had to have a fan. We use them at home and we use them here in the store. That's why my air conditioning bill is cheaper than anybody else's around here. Uh, it's half of what everybody else's is, literally. Well, no one's asking for autographs, but Spindletop Antiques on Main Street is overrun with fans. They're all here because of one man, Carl Parker, the local antiques expert, better known as the Fan Doctor. And it doesn't take much prodding to get him spun up about his favorite subject, vintage electric fans. We refer to this thing as a tank because it's built like a tank and it's as heavy as a tank. Oh, come on, that's not good. Couldn't be very heavy. It's yeah, it big. is. And this here, you're looking probably 27, 28 pounds. Yeah, you're kidding. Me. <laughs> <laughs> This is referred to as a funeral fan. It's supposed to have candelabras coming off the side here. Candelabras? Yeah, you would have set it next to the body to illuminate and keep the air fresh. Well, most folks aren't blown away by the marvel of an electric fan anymore, but at the turn of the last century, these clever combinations of coils, wires, and magnets were the height of invention and they were made with a standard of craftsmanship that was stamped out long ago by the March of Progress. The cheapest fan made in the 1960s is better than the best fan made today. If you buy a fan in the store, first thing you should do is check with your homeowner's policy to make sure it's covered by fire because they, they burn up. Seriously? Yes, seriously. The way the motors are built, they're not built to last. They're made out of plastic. They're guaranteed as they're engineered to be obsolescent in just a, a very short period of time. To hear you tell it the old way in this case is the better way. Tried and proven, as you can see today, once they get fixed back into the original condition, uh, you're set to go for life. I service the gearboxes, get rid of the old grease and clean them and everything else. But yeah, once I teach my customers how to take care of their fan, their, their fan will take care of them for the rest of their life. I promise them that much. Give it a couple of drops of oil, that's all she wants. Carl can shoot the breeze all day about the inner workings of a household appliance that most people take for granted. But he'd better get to work because the fan doctor's waiting room is always full. If you want your fan restored, pick a number, get in line, and I'll call you in a few months when it's ready. <laughs> I've got happy customers, they keep coming back and they keep telling their friends about me, so a good word of mouth goes a long way. Is that the line right there? Is that what those for fans are waiting on? Is those, that is the line. That is correct. I have counterclockwise rotation around here, just like an Emerson. <laughs> Whether you've got an ailing Emerson or a geriatric GE, Carl can make it better than new. He does everything from wiring to balancing to custom paint jobs. And all this TLC is about more than simply fixing a broken object. For customers like Sonny Anderson, the fan doctor restores memories. Good morning, sir. How are you? What can I help you with this thing? I had gone to Center, Texas and 54, and I bought that for my mother's on Mother's Day, so I wanted to keep it. And she was really surprised. She was so happy, I can almost see her right now, you know, as I think about it. But uh, I'm just so glad because it brings back so many memories. We have customers that have dropped fans off as a family affair. They'll videotape me checking the fan out and they'll be right back here picking it all up as a family and wrapping it up and taking it home like it was a new baby. 
Thank you for coming in, Sonny. Nowhere else in Texas will you find an antique store quite like this. Electric motors humming out a rhythm, brass blades shining in the light, and waves of cool air rushing by. Carl Parker happily works away in the center of this swirling storm, and this fanatical fan addict says there is wisdom blowing in that wind. Has anybody ever told you, Carl, that you're a little bit eat up with fans? Yes, they have. They tell me I'm addicted and I'm a fanatic and I might even be unreasonable, but... Uh, is it true? No, it's not at all. I love my job. That's what my customers want to hear. I like, I like what I'm doing and I like the product, so uh, anybody that does like their job should be viewed as, as that way, in my opinion. I mean, everybody would be happier in the world if they all did exactly what they wanted to do in life, don't you think?